Meet the two-way game breaker, the biggest defensive menace possible build in the game that can shoot from anywhere or over anyone while unlocking every single dribble move in the game and getting unblockable dunks and the fastest dunks in the game while bowling its way to the basket with its strength. This build is game breaking. YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man. And in today's video, I got y'all with a build video. Now, this is my first build video of the year that I'm actually doing on current gen because this build is specifically going to be my current gen build. Now, I've been playing next gen most of the year. If you guys want me to play more current gen, simply drop a like on this video and comment down below. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we have banger content coming all year long and some banger videos you should probably check out and this is the build i like to call the two-way game breaker because it can literally do everything in the game and i've never seen someone build a six seven build just like this i put a bunch of hours into the build creator trying to find the best possible way to maximize the ability of this build now i'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay how to make this build and of course all the animations i have on this build currently i am currently undefeated with this build too i've never lost on current gen i have a hundred win percent so make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button and before we get into the gameplay and how to make the build and all that here is a word from our sponsor for today's video today's video is sponsored by seat geek if you don't already know what seat geek is it's the best place to buy tickets for live events whether you're trying to see your favorite sports team play or your favorite artist perform live seat geek is the app for you the app is super easy to use and i have it on my phone right here so let's see i want to see the bulls play my favorite basketball team all i have to do is find where i want to sit and if it's green it's a good deal if it's red it's a bad deal and if it's yellow it's an okay deal and if y'all use my code double h at checkout you will get 20 dollars off your first purchase on seeky so make sure to click the link in the description and download the app today and shout out to seeky for sponsoring today's video all right y'all we are going to be showing gameplay of this build now i haven't played a ton of games with the build but the, ga the games i have played this build is insane so we're going to start off with a couple of shooting clips now this build Build I've noticed does not get contested nearly as much. It's so much harder to contest this build with all the badges it has. Now it can fade. It has gold agent threes. It can shoot over people. It has dead eye. It has blinders. You can shoot those peak shots, those side shots. I mean, this build is a crazy shooter. 89 three ball. You won't need to be scared to shoot. You won't need a rim run. You're gonna have people that are gonna have to respect your jump shot, making it even easier to get a dunk because this build is crazy. Now, the jump shot, the link will be in the description if you guys want this exact jump shot, but you can use whatever jump shot you want. You got an 89 three ball. You're gonna unlock most of the jump shots in the game. If you have low energy, if you're fading, if you wanna shoot from the hash, if you wanna spin back, if you wanna dribble, then shoot when you're tired. If you wanna only shoot, catch a shoot, this build can shoot, it can do it all when it comes to shooting. Dribbling tire, dribbling out of a shot, you know, step back, whatever. This build can shoot anywhere on the court. I mean, it's just so easy to shoot with this build. This is probably the easiest shooting build I have made in all of 2K23, especially considering this is the highest three-pointer build I've made in 2K23, even though it has so many other good stats. It's, it's crazy. The finishing is also very good. Like I said, it gets quick drops off once, so it's going to get the fastest, most unblockable dunks in the game, which is going to make it even harder to guard your three and harder to guard your drive. You also get silver bully, so if they do get in the way of you on your drive, you can literally push them out of the way because you have an 82 strength in silver bully. Not only that, the defense is crazy. You're gonna, you can sag off of people a little bit because you're gonna go ahead and get those contests when they shoot. And then tier defense is crazy too. People are going to miss dunks on you. You're going to get blocks. You're gonna get lock and rim take. You're going to get stops. This is the, probably the best thing about the build is the defense. You have a 95 steal. You're going to get steals. You're going to get plucks. You're going to have crazy good contests in the paint because you're going to have that interior defense plus the strength plus the weight, the weight, the wingspan, the height. It just all combines to a great defensive interior build. Rim runners are going to be stopped. Post scores are going to be stopped. Interior finishers are going to be stopped. These dudes are going to have to shoot to beat you. 
And if they do shoot to beat you, you're going to have to play bad on defense perimeterly wise because it, the interior defense is very easy to play with this build with how good the defense is. Now, I'm going to be showing some full game plays. The first game play I'm going to show you guys against this at level 40 that averaged like 16 points a game. And this is how it went, right? So the first play, we get an easy dunk, right? Second play, you know, we dribbling around another easy dunk. So we take the two dunks. He's probably not going to respect the three, right? And I know that. So spin back. Where is he going? He's lost. Green. This build's not going to miss open. If you're open with this build, it's basically a guaranteed green. If you're a little bit contested, you can still green it because it has an 89 three-pointer. He almost gets a pluck right there, but it's okay. We got the most unblockable dunk package in the game. He's not blocking that. It's already 11-0, just like that. Look at Russell Westbrook crossover, step back, over those. He, he, got a good, he got a good closeout right there. It don't matter. Spin back. You lost. Over those. You thought he jumped at me? No, we shooting over him, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all this build shoots crazy different than other builds. Look at this. Look at how much we shoot. He can't guard me. I didn't even need to take that many dunks. What, I take three dunks? And we were shooting lights out. We're going to go ahead and show the stats, too. Just in case y'all thought I was cutting anything out. The only two shots we missed was two blocks, right? Next game, we're playing an interior finisher, a post score, whatever you want to call it. He can only finish in the rim, and he's a lot taller than me, right? So let's see how our interior defense does. 90 interior defense, 82 strength with, you know, good weight and wingspan. Look at how much he struggles. I have no takeover, bro. Look at a heavily... This build is going to guard the paint very easily. Now, accidentally step out of bounds. So we actually give him another chance again. Back-to-back -back possessions, right? I have Pogo Stick on too. Look at heavily. You're not going to make these contested layups. Paint defense is going to look like it's good in this game with this build, okay? Because this build is crazy. You can get lock and rim take on it as well. Now, we have the ball. Easy couple of dunks right there. We already have takeover because of our crazy defense. So we have takeover, and now it's just like, you're not going to be able to guard me from three. You saw me take a couple dunks, and a lot of people play against rim runners in this game. So when they play against you on this build, they're not, they're going to be confused. They're like, how is this dude shooting so good? Like, I don't play a lot of good shooters, because there's not a lot of good shooters in this game. But you play on this build, you're going to be shooting lights out. As you can see, like, I'm literally making every shot. I'm not going to miss open. I have an 89 three-pointer. It's crazy. These badges are crazy. Look at, you thought he got a contest? We're shooting over there. We got Deadeye. Another right up and dunk, just like that. It's already 15 to 0. 15 to 0. This dude's supposed to be bullying me, right? 15 to 0. Another open three. Green, bro. I don't miss on this build. I haven't even lost on this build yet. Like I said, eventually, yeah, maybe I'll lose a couple games. But I'm going to win 90 plus percent of my games the whole year with this build because it's crazy. Now, right here, I had layup timing on. Otherwise, that would have gone in. My settings were messed up. He gets another chance right here. Look at that wasn't even the best contest. And I still made him miss that layup. Like, we're making paint defense look good. Step back, green from limitless range. And we gonna show the stats again, just in case y'all think I'm cutting something up. No, we not cutting five for five from three. Okay, simple as that. We go into the next game. We're playing a level 40 tryhard, averaging 11 points a game. And this is gonna be another, you know, pack up game. We packing this dude up, send them off. Okay, because he's not going to be able to guard us. Look at spin back. We're going to the basket. Easy standing dunk. We have that standing dunk equipped as well. Two to zero off rip. He probably doesn't know if I can shoot. Look at us. We go into the basket. Another easy dunk. I mean, the dunks are wide open. Now he's not going to respect my shot as well. Oh, spin back. Where are you going? From the hash? No takeover from the hash. Okay, green. Simple as that wide open dunk that's the fastest dunk in the game that's all we need russell westbrook crossover he gets a steal gets a little plug it's like okay okay he got the ball you know goes for a little dunk i reached you know i shouldn't have reached i should have jumped but it's good we get a contest on that that's off that's off it's over for you that's the best thing about this build is the defense the offense looks so good but if you somehow give up the ball that's the best part of the build the defense which is gonna make this build literally game breaking like you're not gonna be losing with this build Unless it's literally just your fault. We get step back over those. We get the ball again. Wide open dunk. 17 to 2, just like that. Step back, spin back. Bro, we can do it all on this build. Another dunk. Like, you can score however you want to score. Shooting literally over him. I have a 50 mid range in that clip. It goes higher than that. I just didn't have an upgrade yet. And I'm just shooting over him because it doesn't matter. I, I literally missed one. Oh, no, I didn't even miss a shot in the game. Nine for nine, three for three. Let's show y'all how to make this build, okay? Because y'all are going to need this game-breaking build, okay?
Okay, y'all, we are in the builder officially, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. Now, to start off, if you have Rebirth unlocked, I highly recommend, of course, making this a Rebirth. You have unlimited Rebirths, and why not start as a 90 with some badges, right? Now, I think this build is the best build in the game, a game-breaking build in this game, especially stats-wise. Like, the stats on this build are crazy not only that but especially if you go for the extra baddest and you can get up to plus 13 extra baddest without even leveling up at all this build will be unstoppable like it already is unstoppable but with the extra baddest i don't need like it, it's just gonna be crazy there's no words i'm lost for words with the extra baddest included you can make this position really whatever position you want to i would recommend a point guard shooting guard or a small forward i went point guard it doesn't matter too much and you can make this build on current gen and, or next gen i'm making it on current gen because this is going to be my current gen build so if you're looking for my current gen build you found the video. This is the video. Uh, number doesn't matter. We're going to go with number one for Derrick Rose, of course. Now you're going to mess with the height, weight, and all that stuff. Now, this build, unlike a lot of ISO builds, is going to have strength. So you are going to be able to get that Giannis animation where you push people out the way, bully people, shove them out of bounds, and just have a wide open layup or dunk, right? So we're going to go with 6'7". Uh, I feel like the best heights on current gen are 6'7 and 6'8. But for this build, we're going 6'7". Seven. Now, with the weight, we're actually going to go up in weight. Now, you get Silver Bully at 82 strength, and 82 strength starts at 217 pounds. But as you can see, my acceleration is a 79. So, we're going to keep upping the weight until my acceleration goes down. So, as you can see, we're upping it. Even my strength just went up, and it goes up or down one at 221 pounds. So, we're going to go 220 pounds exact. Trust me, I did a lot of research on this build. Everything is going to be to the best of its ability. Now, with the wingspan, if I go max, my three pointer goes to a 85, which takes off a lot of, you know, good shooting baddies from gold to silver. And I want this build to be very glitchy with shooting. I want it to be crazy with shooting, which it is. And if we lower the wingspan, it's not going to affect our defense crazy because we're not going to go for a 99 steal. We're not going to have a Hall of Fame glove. But we're still going to have a good ball handle and we're going to get gold agent threes and a couple other really good shooting baddies at gold. If we go down to seven foot one wingspan, which is going to give us an 89 three, which is super glitchy. OK, body shape, you can go with whatever you want. I went with compact. It doesn't really matter. It's personal preference. Anyways, as you can see, I mean, you can build this build from here. If you don't like the stats, how I have them in a second here. I mean, the max stats are crazy on this build. 99 layup, 99 dunk, 89 three, 91 ball handle, 90s and everything in defense with an 82 strength, 99 stamina, 97 vertical. I mean, that's crazy, right? Now, y'all already know my play style if you watch my videos. I don't go for like crazy contact dunks or bad finishes around the rim. I only dunk the ball when I have a wide open dunk unless I it's like down to the shot clock and that's all I have is like to go drive in, right? And the best dunk package in the game is quick drops off one. So we're going to go get the quick drops off one at an 80 driving dunk. Now on current gen, you don't need any vertical for dunks. So we don't even need to put up the vertical. We get silver limits take off, which if I were you, I would get silver or hall of fame. We're not going to get hall of fame. So we'll get silver. Now, another thing we made this build was for strength and bully. So, and you know, strength is also good with defense, post defense, all that stuff. It's going to stop rim running a lot too. This build is the rim runner stopper. I'm going to tell you right now, it's insane in the tier defense. So we're going to already just max out the, uh, strength to an 82 right which is going to give us silver bully and we're going to go back to the uh, finishing right here so this is going to be unlock silver bully we have an 80 driving dunk we're going to put the lamp up to exactly a 72 and that's going to give us 10 driving badges which is the perfect amount for all the badges we need in this category with the ratings we have so we're going to get the best uh, most unblockable dunk package in the game with a 72 layup and we're going to have silver bully to throw people out the way to get wide open lamps and dunks so the finishing stats might not look good but you're going to finish better than some players with high finishing stats because of the silver bully, because of the quick drops, because of the silver limitless takeoff. It's going to be, the finishing is going to be fine, okay? So it might look bad to you, but the finishing is insane on this build. Now, anyways, when it comes to the shooting, it's going to be really fire on this build. We're going to go to an 89 three-pointer, giving us gold blinders, gold agent threes, gold green machine, uh hall of fame volume shooter silver dead eye silver limits range yo this when i tell you this build could shoot over people it's literally crazy now with the playmaking 
we're going to go ahead and put the ball handle to a 90. That's going to give us every drill move possible in the game for a 6-7 build. So we unlock all the drill moves for tall builds in the entire game. Now, there's no passing styles on current gen, so you don't even need to upgrade your pass accuracy. A 60 is more than enough to pass to the open man. The passes are actually faster on current gen than next gen for whatever reason. So that's good enough. Speed with ball, we're gonna go with a 75 so we can get that Michael Jordan dribble style, and that's good right there. Now, with the defense, the defense is insane. This, this is probably the best thing about this build is the strength in the defense. The defense is crazy. 90 interior defense you're going to get stops on the rim runners post scores interior finishers they're not going to be able to score on you either now with the perimeter defense it's going to be at 92 giving us gold clamps and gold challenger the steel is going to be at 95 giving us a gold glove the block is going to be an 82 and blocking is probably the worst mechanic in the game defensive wise this year you're still going to get gold chase down and bronze uh anchor and bronze pogo stick but having a high block rating is not as important as it was in previous years because there's just not a lot of block animations in this game. And then with the rebounding, you're going to leave it just like that. And it, when it comes to the speed and the acceleration, I say this in all my build videos, you don't have to believe this, but a 70 speed is more than enough. Now, the things that affect you being fast in this game is your ball handle, your quick first step level, and your acceleration. Our ball handle is a 90, our quick first step is a hall of fame and our acceleration is going to be maxed out at a 79 here now we have the 82 strength still we don't need to upgrade the vertical because on current gen you don't need vertical for any dunk packages and we're going to put our stamina all the way to a 95 and if you get gym rat all of these physicals will go up plus four as well now we take a look at the badge count right here this isn't the final badge count but we do have a good badge count we have 10 finishing more than enough 21 shooting 15 play making 21 defense that you can get up to plus 13 extra badges on current gen plus four for becoming a starter in my career plus five for playing your flashback games and plus four for doing all the sam quests now i made this build perfectly for doing those they're easy quests you don't have to be good at the game to get them done you just have to get them done now once you get those plus 13 badges what i would do with them is put plus four on shooting plus six on playmaking and plus two on defense that's going to equal up to exactly 13 extra badges and you're gonna have a badge count of 10 25 21 23 and i purposely put those badges in certain categories to unlock certain badges in each of those categories which we will go over later but that is insane anyways the last thing we forgot is to upgrade the free throw a little bit and now we are 99 we're gonna go ahead and continue now with the takeovers there is a takeover glitch on current gen so don't take these takeover options too seriously if you want to know how to do it i'm sure you could look it up you can really get whatever takeovers you want on this build but if you had to choose, I would definitely go with Sharp and Lock, which are the two best takeovers in the game anyways. So you get the best takeovers in the game anyways with this build. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish, complete the build creator. And that is the two-way three-point shot creator, what I like to call the two-way game breaker, because this build is game breaking. You have the shooting, you have the finishing, you have the dribbling. Best shooting you can have is a 6-7. Best dribbling you can have is a 6-7. Best defense you can have is a 6-7. Very good strength with lock and rim take. Absolute menace build if you put lock and rim take on this, being the best defensive build in the game. Anyways, let's go look at the badges. As you can see, we are on the build right now. I have it at a 94 overall. When I get it to 99 and when I get my other extra badges, it's going to be crazy, bro. But this is my progress right now. I only have plus four extra badges out of the 13 right now. Now, I would never add any extra badges to finishing. So this is what your finishing setup should look like. Silver Bully, Silver Limitless, Bronze Slithery, Bronze Acrobat, Bronze Fearless, Bronze Posterizer. I mean, you just got all the best finishing badges in the game with this build at only 10 badges and then with the shooting right now i only have 21 of the 25 that i want including those extra badges but with the 21 i have gold agent threes gold green machine silver dead eyes silver limitless range gold blinders and if i get the extra four i'm gonna put it on gold amped and then this build is going to be literally the best shooting build in the game at 6-7. And then with the playmaking, I'm going to get another four extra, but right now I have 17. And I have silver handles for days, gold unpluckable, bronze clamp breaker, and hall of fame quick first step. Once I get those extra four, I'm just going to put 
bronze clamp breaker to gold. And then this build's gonna have a 90 ball handle, unlock every single drew in the game with all the playmaking badges you, you could possibly need. And then with the defense, we do have the 23 defense. So this is all I need on defense. Now, right now, I don't have a 92 perimeter defense. Otherwise, I would probably take off Pogo or lower chase down artist to put on clamps. But anyways, the setup we have right now is bronze anchor, silver clamps, silver menace, bronze Pogo stick, gold challenger, gold glove, hall of fame workhorse, and gold chase down artist. And this is an update at my 94 overall build of what I have. I still have a lot of stuff to upgrade. So all the gameplay that you saw in this video is literally with these stats right here. And like I showed earlier, my record speaks for itself. I don't have, not all my games are played with this build, but a lot of my games are played with this build. And we are just gonna use this build probably for the rest of the year on current gen, cause it is literally game breaking. Now the animations I currently have on this build, if you wanna copy them down is right here now. I do change my animations every once in a while, but this is what I'm working with right here. If you want the jump shot, jump shot video on my channel, go check it out. It's at the end of the video. Uh, I have Devin Booker dribble pull up, Jason Tatum hop jumper. These are all my dribble moves if you wanna copy them down. And then the only dunks I have equipped is quick drops off one and fist pump rim pulls. Yeah, if you want any of the animations, screenshot them right here and copy them down. If this video helped you guys out at all, make sure to drop a like on the video and drop a like if y'all want to see me play current gen more because I know I play like 90% next gen. Now, if you guys want to see me rage while playing rec with randoms or even play comp pro-am with people I don't know, click one of the videos on your screen right now. You won't regret it. Anyways, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. I love y'all so much and I'm out. Oh, man. Peace.